Probably because of Puffy. Why you say that? I did. Oh, uh, uh, shit. If I wouldn't have never met him, I wouldn't have never been involved in this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If I would have never met the brother, I wouldn't have never been involved in this bullshit. Really. Because me, me and Shu was playing on the same part one of the team and everything. My homeboys helped put Shuli in the game and all that shit, you know? And, uh, we really crashed, crashed, crashed two people in Empire that fucking one night. I'm saying, mine's for sure. Shuli Stu. Yeah. Right, right. Damn, man. So you feel like Puffy, he's the reason for your empire and Suge Empire going down because of the whole situation with Tupac. Exactly. He the only one still balling. Suspect involved in the murder of late rapper Tupac Shakur, Kifi D, apparently once again is back in the news and looks like his legal team are doing everything possible to extricate him out from this difficult mess, uh, also indicting him of a perpetrated murder. And this time he apparently has been granted at 750 US dollars, uh, you, uh, you know, bail for now, but we'll get or break down what exactly led to this particular uh, you know, amount that he would have to cough out. We, well, uh, do you remember the whole incident involving DD, uh, Keefe D, allegedly being involved in this, uh, you know, suspicious uh, crime? Well, he said he's been uh, apparently vindicated, but the courts are yet to prove whether or not he's free from this. But for now, they are, uh, I mean, his uh, client, uh, sorry, his attorney apparently have tried everything possibly uh, to get him off from, uh, you know, uh, the sales and would have to pay about 750,000 US dollars. But let's quickly bring it down so he apparently was uh suspected to be part of the horrendous crime that happened about uh 27 years ago involving the uh, the matter of rapper tupac shakur so uh Dwayne davis aka keith ad apparently was in court out in vegas in tuesday for a hearing on the potential i know release on bail pending a criminal trial now he apparently was um escorted by his legal team and of course he argued before a judge that your client wasn't too danger uh, you know to any society member nor was he also uh, a flight risk and so the judge or the jury should apparently consider uh, or tamper justice with Messi because the client since uh, September 2023 has been uh, bastard and of course inside cells for a very long time yet prosecutions and uh, you know no evidence seem to be backing the claims uh, alleging that he knows anything uh, you know involved about the matter of the late rapper Tupac Shakur now just before we get you exactly what necessitated for this bill uh, he also in some previous interview had mentioned earlier that Didi one way or the other knew uh, something about Tupac Shakur's uh, you know demise now it's not surprising because even after the demise of the rapper people were suspicious because um, uh, you know uh, Didi you know shady deals and here and there uh, you know speculated as though he knew something about it and in this interview we'll let you with the interview very shortly but Keefe D apparently slightly mentioned Diddy's name and sparked another conversation and so his uh, attorney are uh, arguing that he's not he's not a threat to society neither is he also uh, going to uh, you know um, repatriate to every uh, any country and so they are begging the judge that their client apparently needs some freedom and so they would want to uh, appeal that the court or the jury apparently receives uh, an amount of uh, at least i don't know how they negotiated but i think the 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 the, the bail apparently uh, was agreed on a 750,000 US dollars uh, you know agreements and of course Keith D would have to be uh, you know paying that money but we don't know for now if he's actually off uh, you know from else already but i'm sure uh that the attorney or his attorney are actually expediting process to make sure that uh keith d uh will be out from sales anytime soon but generally how how is this really going to work because someone who is uh, a, 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 now bear in mind also that all these suspects involved in the matter or the demise of uh tupac Shakur, all of them are nowhere to be found media so rest in peace anyway however keith d is the only suspect left and i'm very hopeful i mean very sure that she knows the perpetrators of the uh i mean of the of the late rapper's demise now it was alleged also that dd apparently gave Keefe D 1 million US dollars to shut up, you know, to shut up because he knew something about it. And 
he shouldn't mention his name. Now, these are speculations. Now, this interview we're about to watch, which, of course, some way, somehow, he mentioned Diddy's name in the conversation, raised some kind of uh, suspicions, and some fans are saying that, the, I mean, the cops should also start investigating Diddy in, the, in this conversation. Now, honestly, I feel that, that that would be a very good call if Diddy also is also invited before uh, the laws and to also know exactly what he knows about because his name has been dragged since, uh, you know, this whole mess did happen. Until now, he's still implicated in this conversation. So, uh, it was alleged that Kifa D was given 100 million US dollars from the camp of uh, uh, Diddy just to keep quiet. And some are even saying that he gave that 1 million US dollars to Kifi D to assassinate or just to get rid of Tupac Shakur. And I don't know how true this is, but these are some of the rants. But let's to get you that particular interview which uh, caused a, a whole uh, you know, trend on social media which people are saying that Diddy apparently would have to be also investigated. What makes you say you lost your empire because of Puffy? Why you say that? I did. Oh, uh, shit. If I wouldn't have never met him, I wouldn't have never been involved in this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If I would have never met the brother, I wouldn't have never been involved in this bullshit. Really. Because me and, me and Shu was playing on the same part one of the team and everything. My homeboys helped put Shu in the game and all that shit, you know? And, uh... We really crashed, crashed, crashed two people empire that fucking one night. I'm saying mine's for sure. Sure, Stu. Yeah. Right, right. Damn, yeah, man. So you feel like Puffy, he's the reason for your empire and Shug empire going down because of the whole situation with Tupac. Exactly. He the only one still balling. Shit. Yeah, he, he made our shit go down, man. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't even met them over he, he won't even look out or nothing, you know? So break that down, man, for the people out there that don't know the backstory. What did Puffy do exactly to break down y'all empires? Because uh, he pitted us against each other, it seemed like. It seemed like he pitted us against each other. Uh, cause a whole uh, conversation on social media with some people saying that Didi also would have to be invited to the police uh, to also let him know exactly what he uh, his business is in this particular conversation of the late trial. But now it's been about 27 years and so far uh, the police are yet to fish out exactly who you know, caused the demise of the late rapper Tupac Shakur. As I said, may he so rest in peace. And the family, as as, as it stands now, are still fishing or still looking uh, to know exactly who is involved in this. Well, we are keeping an eye on this conversation and whether or not Kifi D finally will expose Didi, well, that will yet uh, to be unraveled anytime soon. For your thoughts and comments, please do leave it inside the comment section also.